What's up guys, I got a really fun video for you guys today. As some of you guys might already know, there was a bug a couple of days ago that allowed you to craft the Crystal Reaper, which is the crystal version of the Inferno Scythe. So it's the crystal weapon that we'll be getting for the Battle Axe Tree at the end of the season. This bug allows you to craft the Crystal Reapers by using a Crystallized Dread instead of the Crystal Weapon Artifact. It also allowed people to get the artifact for the Crystal Reaper from their seasonal chests if they haven't opened that chest last week. This bug was hotfixed within a few hours of the patch drop, so you cannot do this anymore, but we did get to play this new axe for a few hours, and in case you missed that stream, I really want to show you guys the gameplay, because boy is this thing gonna be busted. So first, let me explain exactly what the ability does. The ability is called Relentless Assault. When you activate it, you dash in the target direction, does damage in the AoE in front of you at the end of the dash. So kind of like the new Hammer Q and the Dual Sword E. And then it makes this big circle around you, and as long as you remain inside the circle, you can reactivate the ability every 3 seconds. And every time you hit someone with it, you also reduce the cooldown of your Q and W skills by 33%. So you go in with Adrenaline Rush, and you hit 2 E's, and you're basically going to have another Adrenaline Rush ready by the time the first one expires. The damage on the E is also quite insane. At the 8.3 equivalent, it does over 700 base damage on every cast, and you can cast it up to 5 times if they remain in your circle. In comparison, a Deathgiver E does about 1000 base damage, but unless it starts a line for you, you probably won't get 5 cast out of the Deathgiver E. And the circle, by the way, has a 15 meter radius, so it's the same size as Assassin Jacket's radius. So if you combine it with the root of your Q, you should at least be able to hit two E's before they're able to leave it. If they have a dash up, they might be able to leave the circle quite easily, but if you play around their mobility cooldown and you catch them with their mobility down, the damage on this is absolutely going to be insane. And it's only a 20 second cooldown. So far, out of all the crystal weapons that I've played, the Crystal Reaper is definitely going to be the best one by far. The first batch of crystal weapons was a bit underwhelming for me. None of them were really good for the kind of content that I do. And this axe is definitely gonna change that. If it doesn't get nerfed to the ground before they release it. There's a pretty good chance that that might happen. Because while it looks strong in solo, it's probably gonna be OP for other types of content. Because the counterplay for this weapon is basically kiting. If you leave the E-Circle, it doesn't get as much value and in solo, you're free to just run away out of that circle anytime you want. But in group play, if one of these axes gets on your backline, well you can't really just run away from them, because then you're leaving your team behind. right? So imagine if you are the healer and a reaper gets on you, you'll be taking so much damage from them spamming E on you, and you might not be able to just run away, because then you let your team die. And also, in solo play, you're probably just gonna play with Adrenaline Rush for your W, or maybe Battle Rush, um, and then probably Q3 because you're gonna need that root to catch people, but in group play, you might be able to take a higher damage W, like W1, and for Q, you can actually just run Q2. Q2 synergizes so much better with this E because of the cooldown reduction that the E provides. I did a little test on the training dummies on my island at the start of the video, and you can see that the damage output is just so much higher with Q2. Also, in certain types of content, there will be times when leaving the circle is just not going to be an option. Namely, in 2v2 Hellgates, when the Ring of Fire starts closing in on you, you won't really be able to leave the Reaper circle anymore, and you'll be forced to just sit there and brawl with them while they unload on you. I know that there is some talk about reworking Hellgaze and perhaps providing some sort of escape mechanic, but unless that happens before these weapons get released, then this weapon will definitely be a little bit OP in that kind of content. I could definitely see some healer DPS comms choosing this weapon and then just chilling out until the fire closes in and then just get a free win from it. So yeah, I could see a future where this weapon gets nerfed to the ground before it even gets released. But I really hope that that doesn't happen, because 
well, subjectively, playing this weapon was just really fun. And also considering that the first batch of crystal weapons felt so weak, <laughs> they were just they just didn't feel good to play in solo at least. Um, I really hope that this next patch is gonna have something good for me, and this one looks good. And also, considering how strong the newer weapons, namely the uh, Prowling Staff and the Primal Staff, considering how strong those weapons are in solo scenarios, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna feel really good, right? Just to have a weapon, you know, traditional weapon tree that would be on the same level as one of those weapons. Now, as I said earlier, this only lasted. This bug only lasted for a few hours, and when they started fixing it, they were very heavy-handed in their approach. So on the first day, when the patch came out and they realized that there's this bug. They did a hotfix that made all the existing Crystal Reapers not uh, not equipable anymore. So if you had one, you can't wear it. And also not craftable anymore, you can't make any new ones. And uh, the existing ones also became untradeable, so you can't put them on the market, and you can't put them in a chest that uh, other players can claim from. Now, if you already had a Reaper in one of those chests, then too bad for you, that weapon is now deleted. And also on day two, they just straight up deleted all the Crystal Reapers from the game. Now, some of the ones that were crafted from, uh, from the uh, Crystallized Reds, uh, they had their artifacts refunded, but the 7.4 materials that were used to craft this weapon, they're just all gone. <laughs> and I also had a 6.3 and a 7.3 in uh, in the uh, Morgana crates on my island, and those are all gone as well. So this is kind of what we expected to happen because, you know, we were kind of glitch exploiting, right? So I guess it was deserved, uh, but at the same time, it kind of sucks. <laughs> So there's no more uh, Crystal Reaper for a while, and to play this weapon now, we'll have to either wait until the end of the season, uh, or I believe since they fixed all the bugs with it, they should be available now on the test server. So if you want to try the weapon yourself, I think you're able to do that now on the test server. And if you do do that, if you do get on the test server and try it out, you you probably have to bring a friend with you so so you can test it on them, right? But um, you'll see what I mean when I said that this weapon is going to be really strong for solo players, and it's probably going to be OP for group players. Um, if you yeah, if you try it yourself, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, so that's all I got for this video. But also, I'm not done yet with the tier seven one billion silver challenge. Uh, or the second run of that, I guess. Uh, so we are still playing mixed seven tier seven builds to get that one billion silver, and um, I have been doing that, but I haven't really uploaded any videos about it because, well, you know, there's been a lot of things happening lately. There's been the stuff happening with the EU server launch and uh, updates in other games that I play, in Helldivers namely, that's been just distracting me from uh, from Alpine content and from doing this uh, tier 7 challenge. Uh, and of course, this happened, this little bug happened, so I did spend that stream playing the Crystal Reaver. And then when they hotfixed the bug and, and deleted my weapons, it actually just made me not feel like playing anymore on that day, so I um, ended my stream early on that day. Um, but we are still doing the, the tier 7 challenge, and uh, I guess next week we'll be getting back to that. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. Remember to like and subscribe and, you know, do all those algorithm things for me, please. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.